hearing people come to this place, it's like this energy is in the room where you can feel that they're coming from their deepest truth. I mean, I, I literally get the chills just talking about it even right now because it's so powerful. He said the more people we can inspire oh. to eat plant-based, the more we can move the needle on climate oh, change. Oh, Jim, very good. And it was in that moment that I thought, you know what? That's, that's what my, And that's what you're doing right now. That's what I'm doing. And I wanted to write a book and create content and do documentaries and, and all of that. So it, it is that moment, I'm just getting goosebumps, mm -hmm. but that moment really led me to, to exactly what I'm doing now. Wow. I gotta say, girls, when you are sad yeah. or you feel like you have no strength, close the door, Put some music this is what I do. and dance when nobody's watching yeah. until you get chills. But it does, it makes me feel so good to dance. Yeah. I love movement. Yeah. It's power. The fight or flight mode of your body is sympathetic autonomic nervous system activation. Rise in blood pressure, rise in heart rate, vasoconstriction in the veins, etc. The opposite is parasympathetic. And awe activates that, elevated vagus nerve activation. The tears in your eyes when you feel awe, right? A lot of people cry when they listen to beautiful music. That's parasympathetically mediated, mm -hmm. which is the lacrimal gland, gland releasing these uh, 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 chemicals. And then, you know, awe is also associated with the release of oxytocin, this neuropeptide that helps you connect and be open to others that is related to the parasympathetic system. So awe really seems to be, in the broadest sense, tracking parasympathetic activation, which is about, I'm interested in you, I'm open, I don't feel threatened, right. I feel curious about the world, I'm limitless in where the mind can go. And it's amazing to me that it, it, it takes place at the level of neurophysiology too. That's so, so remarkable. I got goosebumps when you're, oh. I, 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 call, I, call, I call them truth bumps. Um, <laughs> right, goosebumps connect us to bigger questions that unite us and themes. There are new techniques that we're really starting to develop at Carnegie Hall where you, you know, we all listen to music. Why not take a piece of music that really means a lot to you uh, that may give you goosebumps and just listen to it and think about what it's telling you.